When you come into the Metrodome tonight, you go from 12 degrees to 70 degrees. And this crowd cheering the appearance of their Minnesota Vikings, the Red Hot Vikings, winner of five straight, ready to take on Joe Gibbs and his Washington Redskins. The play fake under pressure. He gets hit as he throws, and the pass is intercepted at the 47 yard line by Fred Smoot, the former Viking, with a good move at the 25, and then he's out of bounds inside the 10 yard line. So, Fred Smoot, who became the face of the infamous Love Boat incident here in Minnesota a couple of years ago, comes back to the Metrodome and picks off Jackson on the game's first drive. Everybody in tight. Sellers with Portis as the tailback, and they give it to Sellers, and he puts his head down and gets in for the touchdown. Minnesota's challenging the ruin on the field that it was a touchdown. The runner did not cross the goal line with the ball. This could be the longest drive in the history of the NFL. You can't have the ball any deeper in your own zone. And they have to get out of the end zone. So the good news is they won the challenge. The bad news is that they're close to a safety, and that is the case. See a quarterback be that clean and have man-to-man -man coverage, you have high percentages. Henderson back in the game. He's back in coverage. Collins going deep and wide open is Cooley, and he's in for the touchdown. 33 yards to Chris Cooley, who is their leading receiver. This is 61st catch and his eighth touchdown reception. 51 yard attempt. And then Frost juggles it. He can't even get the kick away, and Frost gets buried at the 42 yard line. You just would know about developing quarterbacks because he was in Philadelphia when Donovan McNabb came there in 99. And Jackson hit his. He throws and it is picked off by Sean Springs who picked off two in the Chicago game two and a half weeks ago and the crowd comes down on Jackson as you've got the interception and the third turnover and the second pick thrown by Jackson Springs and Smoot with the picks tonight they've also lost the fumble Collins off the fake. Collins going deep and reaching up and making the catch is Moss for the touchdown. Santana Moss, he's healthy again. 32 yard reception beats Marcus McCauley, the rookie out of Fresno State, for the touchdown. First and 10 at the 15 yard line. Going to toss back to Portis. He's going to throw and wide open is Randall L for the touchdown. He knows how to coach him. Doesn't he? That's I mean, what I'm saying. You need a play, he just pulls one out of there. So now it'll be a 26 yard field goal attempt for Sean Sweezen. Derek Frost to put it down. This time perfectly, and the kick is good. First and goal now. The ball is at the two yard line. Peterson is the running back. Richardson sets up on the right side for leverage. And Jackson's looking to throw. And that pass is caught in the end zone for a touchdown by Jim Klein Saucer. Watch his ball handling. He comes out here and he fakes to the right, and then he just holds the ball until he finds Klein Saucer in the end zone. Jackson, he's going to run for it, and he'll get there. Touchdown. Second down and four from the 13 yard line. Portis turns the corner inside the five and into the end zone. Well, sometimes prayers get answered retrospectively. First and goal at the one, whatever that means. Jackson going for the corner of the end zone. He's in there for the touchdown. And that will do it as the Washington Redskins, after that four game losing streak, the death of Sean Taylor. The loss to Buffalo, where Gibbs called the back-to-back -back timeouts, have won three in a row and control their own fate.